good, it suddenly has stopped. So what we want to do is grow Youngsville, and that's our goal at this board. And what we're trying to do is we need support in that respect. And it's more for the county, in my opinion, in my thought about this, it's more for the county than it is for uh, Youngsville, but it's going to benefit Youngsville. We need our schools supported. And I know you support school systems and everything, but we want to see the Franco County school systems grow to a point where they're on par with Wake County and other schools of high stature. In terms of, <coughs> excuse me, in terms of educational outcomes. That's exactly yeah. right. Because <coughs> I foresee if I want the town to grow residentially, I gotta have better schools. Yeah. And I'm not saying our schools aren't bad, they're good. I think we've got some of the best schools around. But in order to improve them, then people want to move here. You know, as Wake Forest gets filled and saturated, it's just gonna move up the line and come right into the gateway of Franklin County, which is Youngstown. And, and what's are, interesting is the development is not going east. Uh, you know, they built 264, they built those highways, and the development's not going that way. It's coming north. That's exactly right. right. And see, and that goes into exactly what I'm looking at. You know, uh, the three items I wanted to talk to you about, schools, economic growth, and transportation. Uh, the traffic issues. You know, everybody built to go east, and it didn't do it. It's actually going north. And we've improved the roads north, and they're working on US-1 right now, but there's other roads that need support. You know, we've needed a bypass around Youngsville forever because we've got truck traffic on Main Street. And our Main Street's 96. You probably got caught in the traffic coming in here today. Um, we sometimes, you, you have to sit and wait a long time on our road because everybody on the east side of town is driving right through. They're coming right through town, headed to Raleigh. If they had bypass, it gets that truck traffic off. And, and anybody who knows me, has heard me preach it for 12 years, I need a bypass, I need a bypass, I need a bypass. So, I just need support when those issues come up and those funds are available. And I know DOT doesn't have funds right now. And we're way out. We're, I think the bypass is only 20, 40 plus tip, which is to appease us politicians that we're on the list, but nothing's going to happen. Um, but as things change, I hope you'll recognize that and say, if we can get that truck traffic off, then I have a better chance of developing my main street. We bring in some small business that can, you know, prosper and give people a place to go to and shop and eat and get what they need. And that's, that's what we need. We need that support to build the, the school system, to build economic growth, and what will come is a residential. It will come. I mean, we've got the property. 